This is a place for planting, for digging, for harvesting, for relaxing. It's a place to get your hands dirty, but most of all, it's about having fun. And that's what you'll always have when you're in the garden with Doug Oster. You want a green thumb too, don't you? It's great to be back in the garden filming, and today we're gonna to actually be planting. It's December and we're still planting, and you should be too. But the first thing we're gonna talk about is composting. This came out of the kitchen. What we have in here are unbleached paper towels, coffee grounds, eggshells, vegetable peelings, fruit peelings. All you really need to know about composting is anything that once was living will eventually become compost. The hardest thing about starting composting is convincing the rest of the family that we're gonna split the waste stream, we're gonna save this stuff, and we're gonna put it right in the compost bin instead of throwing it out. Well, this compost bin is just made out of shipping pallets, but there's lots of different types of bins. All we're gonna do is throw in this fresh stuff from the kitchen. It's gonna get a layer of leaves on top, and that's all there is to it. This is going to sit here. We're gonna build and build and build, and it just sits here for a year, and then it makes what we call black gold, which is what's happening over here. We're gonna harvest some of that today and use it in the garden. Well, first off, I looked everywhere for my shovel. I actually put it away, it was in a tool shed. And we're gonna take some compost from down below here where, where this stuff is just amazing. It looks great. And like I said, hey, that's black gold. This compost will give the plants everything they need. We use it in lots of different ways. We use it as a soil improver. We use it as a mulch. And you'll never, never make enough. And this stuff looks good. You know it's done when it's sweet smelling and there's not much in there except nice black compost. Let's take this over and I've got the perfect place to use it. Composting to me is the best way to recycle. When we're recycling our bottles, our cans, our newspapers, we're doing it because we think it's a great thing for the planet. In this case, we're actually doing something great for the planet. We're not sending this to the landfill, but it's staying on site and we get the direct benefit in this compost. Before I start doing my mulching, Gotta brag, <laughs> check it out. It's December, we're still picking all this stuff and it's gotta be picked. It's getting so big, it's outgrowing the enclosure. So we'll start off by using this and we're just gonna do a little bit of top dressing on the plants that are in here. And every time we water over the winter, the nutrients of this compost will be released down into the plant. And boy, anything that's in here that makes it through the winter, it's gonna go nuts in the spring. You'll always find something in the compost that hasn't completely decomposed, and we'll just throw that back into the working pile. Be ready next year. Okay, I have a few more plants to mulch, and then the fun part, we're still planting, and you should be too. Oh, I can't wait to plant because the ground has not frozen yet, and so we can still put bulbs in. Got them for 50% off. Those are all daffodils. The deer or anything else will not eat daffodils. We got an area up here where an oak tree fell down, so we're gonna have enough sun to make those daffodils thrive. And I feel like Santa Claus carrying all these. Ho, ho, ho. Go on. Where you are is the top of a woodland trail, and next spring it's gonna be a nice surprise to see these daffodils blooming. And we're just gonna make drifts. Not lined up as soldiers, but we're just gonna find spots for them and we're using our trusty power planter auger. This thing is three inches around, seven inches long, and I love it. I've used longer ones, but when you're working on your knees like this, having a short one like this with a sharp bit, that drills the hole, and all we do is drop the bulb in, and maybe 200 more times, and we'll be done. So when we're planting bulbs, we want them to be three times as deep as they are. And that's the rule of thumb for those. They'll be nice and comfortable down there during the winter and bloom for us in the spring. 
Check out this little guy. It's not too cold for him. And he's certainly not a bad thing for the garden. Most insects help us in the garden, actually. Okay, I'm gonna finish up here. Just have a few more to plant, and then meet me down in the garden. We've got one more job. Well, it is so great to get my hands dirty this late in the season. This is one of two heptacodium shrubs that I'm gonna to plant today. Here's one that's been here for about five years and it loves to be in this shady location. And I love the shrub. It's a late bloomer with beautiful white flowers which fade to a pink and has this wonderful winter exfoliating bark. And this time of the year is a great time to be looking around and figuring out where you can add something to the landscape. And I do know exactly where I wanna put this shrub. Come on, Max, let's go plant. Oh, it's heavy. Well, we're just digging a hole twice as wide as the shrub and making sure it's not too deep. And we're not amending it with compost at all. We just want the natural soil here, and it's really nice woodland soil, so we're in good shape. A little clay here at the bottom, but we'll be all right. All right. We've got it the right depth. Roots look good. Yeah, come up a little bit. And we go. The most important thing is that we know how big this is gonna get. So it's not gonna infringe on the trail over there or into something above. And this is the perfect spot for it. All we do now is put our backfill back in and it's good to go. And we will water until the ground freezes. And did I mention it was 50% off? <laughs> yeah, baby. Another critical part of planting a shrub is to make sure that, pardon us, we're filming, you know. Another important part of planting the shrub is making sure it's not too deep. This is exactly where it was in the pot. We would not want any dirt above this that will kill the shrub. We have a little bit of a depression here for water, and that's what I'm gonna do next. Water this in, then we're gonna finish up. Join us next week where it's all about attracting birds to the garden. We want them to come now, so we'll stick around for the spring and eat some of those pests in the garden. And follow me online for more videos, pictures, stories, and more. And until next week, I still have one more heptacodium to plant, and I might even go get some more bulbs. We'll see you then.